Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to Ravenport. It's another beautiful morning. I don't know how many game, uh, in-game days I've played, but it has yet to rain. So, <laughs> I think I'm bringing some of that luck over from Farmer's Dynasty, where it never rains. Our fields are not quite ready for harvesting. I just weeded them during the night. It always seems to happen during the night. Uh, looks like I got some weeds here and there, but it's, for the most part, they're it's weeded. <laughs> All three fields. I have removed all the trees I believe are necessary to expand that field over there. I did keep selling the wood and it seemed like every trailer I was bringing, it seemed like the price of wood must have been going down because I was getting just a little bit less and less each time. But we have some tree stumps that we have to remove. Also, I have also downloaded some of the mods off the mod hub. So this baling trailer is going to be sold today. Nothing really wrong with it, just not my type, although I do like the green. Um, but yeah, Massey Ferguson, I put the the wide tires back on just because we'll be traveling. We will be traveling. So our first stop is we're heading to the store for a couple reasons. Uh, we need to buy a stump grinder for one. We're going to get rid of this bailing trailer and buy... I don't want to say a modded tra uh, bailing trailer. It was one in, it was in 15 and 17. And Giants has put it into 19. Our Massey Ferguson also could use some fuel. Fuel is well needed. And we are going to buy a few things. Like I said, we're going to lease a stump grinder. I'm not going to buy one. We're going to lease it. Well, we'll see how much it is to lease it compared to buying it. I think I only got six stumps, so we should be able to rip them out pretty quick. Um, I think we're almost going to buy a subsoiler. A subsoiler is like a plow. Although a subsoiler will not let you create new fields. It acts as a plow, so it, but it digs deeper into the soil. That's why they call it a subsoiler. But the plow that we have is a two meter plow. The subsoiler I have in mind is a four meter, double the width. So it's going to make plow in the fields back at the farm a little bit easier uh, what was the other thing we're gonna oh yeah the bailing trailer uh, I think that's pretty much it for now but at least with the new bailing trailer we got we'll be able to transport anything pallets and obviously bales stuff like that but I did max out our loan just to save much money I we would have in the bank account right now we would have 250 grand which seems like a lot but it's not it's not enough. It's not enough. Still trying to get used to the steering wheel with a patch that Giants has. Hoping for one today at some point, but so far no luck. Um, where do I bring things back to sell? Does anyone know that? Is it just, do I bring it to the front or is there... Uh, what is this over here? Or is this a repair? This might be the where you repair and sell. Let's make sure I unload the correct thing. Uh, where am I turning? Every turning. Over here. Oh, the marker's right, right there. Um, repair, sell. So we got 23 grand for that, which is fine because the trailer that we're going to get is cheaper than that. But before we start doing any of that, I'm going to go over and fuel up. That way we don't have a trailer on the back of this thing. I don't know why Giants put cones in front of the gas station as a troll. I guess is what I can say it is. Always turn off your engine when you're fueling. What key do I have to hit to fuel? Is it still, still R? Yes, it is. 
At least it seems like it feels a lot faster. 144. All right. The Massey has fuel. Let's go over and do a little bit of spending. Make sure I can hit the right button here. All right, so we got to go into bailing technology because that's the first thing I want to grab. And right here, the Flegel trailer. 16 grand. I don't know if I want the extensions though. It looks better with the extensions on it. But really when you're trying to put, I got a square baler, so trying to get square bales in there. I'll probably get hung up on them. And plus, I don't want to spend the $1,500 right now for the extensions. So, yes, we want to buy that, please. Thank you. All right, so now, uh, forestry, forestry equipment. Yes, I was ready. What do I want? What do I want? So here we are. This machine cuts tree stumps. Details, lease four hundred or five thousand. I think we will lease that. And the last thing for now, subsoilers. I'm looking at this one right here. The Combi Plow Gold 4M, which stands for four meters. Uh, the Coon is also four meters. And then you really jump up to six meters, but this one also fertilizes. And then of course you got one that goes up to eight meters, but yeah, that's uh, more than what we need. Subsoiler. And no options on it, which is fine. We will buy that. Thank you. Oh yeah, the other thing I do need while we're here. Uh, pig bags. And not pig food, uh, seed bag. How much is in each one? We'll buy one. Two of them. So we we only spent twenty seven thousand, which is I'm happy with that, <laughs> very happy with that. But the good thing that uh, Steve and Sales is going to like is we're going to be able to get all of our pallets out of here. First things first is we'll hook up our trailer. Move it forward just a bit. Although I don't mind having some pallets here. So we do work elsewhere. Can just come back to the store. And the one thing I was never good at is loading up pallets onto the pallet forks. How far? Whoa, I'm way, way beyond where I need to be. There we go. Strap all these suckers on. Uh, that should be fine, I guess. And back to the farm we go. We'll grab the case tractor and come back for the stump grinder. I'm out of attachments to hook that stuff to. Back here at the store to get our subsoiler. Um, that's going to be the backside. Why do they always put the implements down? I don't want to say facing the wrong way, but I'm hoping I can hook this to the front in this case. Hmm. Must be I can't. Because that's, that's a three point linkage, isn't it? Alright, whatever.
any chance that this will hook to the front. This will. Never hooked one of those to the front before. Alright, am I just being a total noob and thinking that's the correct I need to hook up to? Yep. You guys were probably laughing at me at the whole time. I would thought the reflectors would be facing towards the traffic behind you. Guess I was wrong. I thought the reflectors would face towards the back, but I guess if you hook this on the front, whatevs, it's hooked. Not quite understanding that a little bit too much, but that's fine. Maybe the reflectors are for oncoming traffic to see that, to show them it sticks out further than the tractor does. Either way, we got both implements in one trip. That's what I wanted to do. I'm not going to bother filling up the case with fuel because we're three quarters full. It's more than good. And every little penny counts. I have not leased equipment in Farming Simulator in ages. I think I did it once in 17 when it was a thing. You know, when 17 came out, I think I did it once or twice. So I'm like, Really, if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to buy it because it's something I need. But since we only got six stumps and I really don't want to spend the five, that was a 5,000 for it right now. Just spend the 400. I'd rather spend the 400 for four stumps because I may never use the stump grinder again. But we'll go back, drop off the subsoiler. Because I may need that for fields this time. It, I can't remember if this has been the third harvest since we plowed it last. But this being twice as wide, that means our worker would get done twice as fast. And I do believe it said 90 horsepower required. And I do believe our Massey does have that capability. Might as well park it right in front of our weeder. At least this implement is not red. Getting to the point where I kind of need another shed. But <laughs> we'll manage. Alright, let's go up here and get rid of these stumps. Hopefully I can find them because a couple of the trees I did cut kind of close to the ground. I see one of the stumps over there. Oh, there's one right here. Alright. Uh, is this going to run because I don't have a PTO shaft in the front? Turn it on, stump grinder. I guess I don't need a PTO shaft in the front. There's one trunk down. Is the other one... like an Easter egg hunt here. Um, is that it right there? Is there another piece there? I saw something. Is that one of those pieces that I can pick up?
doesn't say that it is. kind of flicking around. I wonder if it's even there, if that makes any sense. Well, the fun way to find it is when I go to plow. That'd be one way to, you know, figure out if it's actually there or not. I did find another one, one that I know was here. I think I'm just going to have to wait until the field is plowed so I can find them better. But I've been trying to get a mark on that stupid stump. I can't cut it with a stump grinder. won't do it. The chainsaw is having a hard time finding it. Oh. Yeah, I'm cutting like little slivers off here and there. Uh, but for now. Um, where is there? Do I have to bring it back or can I... Seed bag. So this is my lease right here. Can I click on it or? Where? I think I actually have to return it. Interesting. Vehicle overview. Right click, left click, nothing. So I think I have to return it. I mean, I know I have to return it, but I think he actually had to physically return it. All right. Well, I'll return it after we plow this area just to make sure we got everything out that we needed to. That is kind of frustrating. Well, I even thought I'd bring it to the workshop place it down it says return but well, I don't get the option the only option I get to do is escape back so basically yes I do believe I'm gonna have to return it <sighs> put that on the list of things that <laughs> farming sim needs to needs to put on their patch list I'm going to return it because if I don't, I'm not used to leasing things. I'm going to forget it. I do believe there were six trees. I cut six stumps. That's what I believe. So I'm going to return this. Probably fast forward time just a little bit so we can uh, wait for that field to be ready to be harvested. So we can actually expand the field. Plow it even wider. So I'll see you in a while. Well, I'm back at the store. This to show, at least at the store, I can return it. So it does work there. I was thinking, oh great, if it doesn't work here, I'm stuck with the least item. No fears, it's taken care of. Well, it's still early in the morning, and here we are harvesting our oats. I've had two full combines so far. Both times I wasn't paying attention, the combine filled up. And of course, all the only thing that happens is the header shuts off and your harvester takes off and you drive forward and ruin your crops. If you have crop destruction on, which I happen to do. So, <laughs> I did destroy a little bit of crop, not much. Probably a hundred liters at most. But the next step is get this equipment out of here, get the case and Grab the coon baler.
I'm hoping there's a fix for the steering wheel soon because playing with it the way it is, it's a little, if you're not used to it being that way, it's a little difficult. I am kind of curious, although I'm stuck here. Um, it doesn't need to be plowed or limed, I guess. I'm just kind of curious to see what we had to do after we expand it. Let's go ahead and park the combine up. Then we'll grab the case. We'll empty our oats into the silo. The question is, do I want to start saving some for horses? Or do we just go ahead and start selling them, take some of the money so we can buy a really nice field? Also, did I clean out the chickens this morning? I think I did. Yeah, there's not there's not much here. Yeah, I'm altering up my computer, I swear. Uh, cleanliness 96, so we're doing well there. So remember, we had 30 of each, other than the roosters. So 42, 43, 42, they're doing well. Yeah, so five boxes per row. Am I going to get, four? looks like I'm going to get four rows out of it. So 20 boxes, I think. One box here. I may get five rows of five, so I may get up to 25. At least that's what I'm thinking. Of course, what I think and what is, is completely different. So when we get into the case, we'll see how many liters of oats we got from the field as it is. But this is the last time this field will be this size. Uh, 8,000. Not bad at all. It was fully fertilized, it was plowed, it was limed, no weeds. A perfect field, if you will. I do hope, because people are also complaining about the weeds, just... They grow too fast. Come back too fast. Maybe it should be like every other harvest. I don't know. But it's getting to the point, like, yeah, I, I was zipping through the night, and also I saw the my fields all transformed to another growth stage, and I went, oh, wait a minute. I slowed down, slowed down time, went to check, and I was like, yep, I got weeds. So the next step is to go ahead and bale. So I'll get right on that, then we'll have to remove the bales, and then we can get the plow, and we can start expanding the field. If those quote unquote tree stumps don't get in her way. So I'm going to get ahead to bailing. And I'll bring it back in a while once again. Alright, as you can see, the field is bailed. And I got enough picked up to where I think I can get in a case and start expanding this field. Take a break from loading up these bales for a second. I haven't been doing it too long, but you know, long enough. Especially when you're used to just driving around in a Volvo and an auto loader and picking them up. But we did get 24 bales on this field. So that's going to sell quite nicely. And uh, we just barely bought enough seed to almost fill the seed drill, but that should be good enough to go for a while. Now let's back this up and hook up to the plow and let's see how bad I do this. With no GPS, this ought to be interesting. I don't think this plow is... No, the plow's not reversible. I was like, is the plow reversible? I'm going to double check, but it shouldn't be. Lower, create fields. 
Yeah, okay. It's not reversible. Didn't think so. But what I'm going to do, first of all, get rid of that hood because the blinking's going to drive me nuts. How does this look? So basically, by hiring a worker, the worker is going to put you in a straight line. So as long as I don't touch the steering wheel. Now what I need to do is to allow to create fields. Lower the plow. And this should put us in a straight line of where I want to go. Ish. I think that will be good. Make sure I turn off allow fields in case the plow dips down too low. I don't want to dig it in anywhere. So we'll do the same thing over here. We'll allow a worker to straighten up our wheels and get us kind of like in a straight line with the field if that makes sense. Try to get the plow right there so hire a worker and see if the plow is in line with the field that looks good to me right there all right wide to create fields lower the plow nope my wheel is turned I forgot to straighten up my wheel that's not good all right uh, let's try this again all right, you know what, I'll just uh, circle around here, around the bales. I think I have to turn off allow create fields when you hire a worker. Yep, and I wasn't paying attention and I did not line myself up good at all. Now the the HUD blinks because I use a keyboard and steering wheel and that's the cause for the situation that we're occurring with most of us with the steering wheel. Yeah, you're going to think the work is done. Now am I going to drive straight enough? No, 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 don't, don't do that. I think it's going to be close enough. It worked better on the first line, didn't it? But this line, not so much. Oh, okay, so there's a dip there, apparently. Problem is, it's kind of hard to see. Well, that's a steep hill. <laughs> Alright, we're going to call that good, I think. Turn that off, turn that off. And I think what we'll do is we'll go to the other side of the field and work way over here. This is pretty steep. But not steep enough. I may have a problem if I hire a worker in that corner. So when it comes to like harvesting or seeding, I may have to do some headlands. Let's go around this tree here. Now, I don't have nothing to really line me up here. So it may not be a completely square field. Let's turn on allow to create fields. Where's the last plow at? If I lower it here. That's close enough to be in square. I can kind of see where I need to go. So just try to keep the wheel as straight as I can. I can see some of the tree stumps that we cut up with those little pieces of pie, if you will.
trying to keep the wheel somewhat straight. I guess I gotta curve up this a little bit. Right there is good for now. Go back down towards the field. Now we'll get some headlands going for the plow. So when I start going around, I can, uh, I won't overlap or go over the boundaries that I have. So over that, I think we'll get rid of the HUD because that's just going to blink and it's already driving me nuts. Oh, okay. It does get rid of the bushes. I was wondering about bigger bushes. Problem is, I have to go to the other end of the field because I can't really get a straight line coming from that side because it's it's just too darn close to the woods. Small problems. Okay, same thing here. Turn that back on. Lower the plow. and let's create the rest of this field. we doubled the size of the field pretty much other than the few bits and pieces I missed we're just about done I had no problem going this way but coming back the other direction I was having a hard time lining up the plow where I wanted it <laughs> maybe it's because I can see the front of the plow going this way the edge and when I go on the other way 
I can't really see the plow because the wheel, the rear wheel is kind of blocking it. That's my excuse. I'll stick to that. You can see the tree stump is still kind of there. I went over those, no problem. Never turn with the plow down. But I will because I'm a professional. Kind of. Um, let's finish this up here. And then what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I can see those little stumps there. I probably have to log out. Turn my steering wheel off. <laughs> come back in so I can use a chainsaw and twist my chainsaw around and get rid of those little pieces. Hopefully when it goes time to seed it, I won't have a problem. But now with a field twice the size, we'll get twice the yield. And I will say it looks kind of square. It's not too bad. That's where GPS would really come in handy. But by eyeballing it, that's not too bad, I don't think. Let's take care of these little pieces here and there. Yeah, the only problem I can see is if I hire a worker when they get up to the upper corner, they may not like it. And of course, I did not know there was a little hump over here in, in the land, but the grass was kind of hiding that, so. But it shouldn't cause too much of an issue. Alright, plow, you wanted to turn around, so, okay. Trying to back up with this uh, plow is a little, a little finicky. I'm just glad I didn't make the mistake by leaving the plow down and ruining our beautiful little rectangle. So this one little patch right here. Lift that up. Make sure we turn that off. Turn the HUD back off, and there we go. We have a square field, or a rectangular field. So I'm going to go park this up. I'm going to finish loading up the bales. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Well, I had just about all the bales on. And the dolly of the front of the baling trailer started doing that twirly-whirly thing. So I got to do it all over again, basically. Luckily, I did have half of the straps locked in. So only about maybe, i say about eight of them fell off. So I went and got the case. I'm like, yeah, I kind of forgot about the twirly bird issue that they're having. I don't know, it probably has something to do with the steering wheel because it seems like everything has to do with the steering wheels right now. But 24 bales, that makes three rows of eight, which what we have. So there's not a bale hiding somewhere. I did forget though that you could actually strap the bales on as you're going. I thought you would, I couldn't, I did not remember that you could actually stack bales on top of strap bales and it would register, if that makes sense. Nope, wrong pedal. That doesn't help. Alright, let's quickly get out and should be a strap here. There is I mean that should be good. They're all they're all on on. Alright, we're gonna go drop off this front loader. And we're going to hook up the seed drill to it. We're going to let that go. I kind of need to start getting my farm back in order. If you want to call it a farm. 
Not low enough? How about that? That's low enough. All right. I did park the plow down below here just in case I forgot to turn it out, you know, create fields. So if you create a field there, it'd be like, eh, whatever. All right, so what we're going to do here, that's oats, that's canola. We are going to go soybeans again. We know the price is pretty good for soybeans, so let's plant some. And why this is going away on a worker, we'll see what it does in the meantime. Now the one thing I'm not too worried about, actually the case might be in the way, but if it is, it'll stop. This might need lime up here. Yeah, it does. But I'll go at least one harvest without needing lime because I want, you know, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do this field, but this field was just kind of done. Yeah, you're going to be blocked, aren't you? You almost didn't stop, though. You just wait there a second. No, no, wait. Massey Ferguson. Holy crap, you're in a hurry. There. Now, the one thing I just got to be careful of driving this up to the barn is not tipping this over. I have done that in pre... Well, not on YouTube, but I have done that in previous times playing. Way back in FS15, I know I tipped them over a couple of times. But that was way back when I just thought, uh, you know, pedaled to the floor, go as fast as you can. I keep forgetting there's a dip there in the ground. Let's go up and sell these and get some cash in. It's definitely not the neatest stacking job ever, but you know what? It pays just the same. I was trying to cut it this a little bit wide because this trigger in here is a little tricky, I think. Is it just going to sell, or do I have to unstrap them? Probably have to unstrap these. Uh, why won't that... There we go. We'll unstrap them all. Try to go slow so they don't just fall over. Uh, try not to drive up on whatever that is. So we made about, what, 10 grand? Almost. Something like that. Not too bad for 24 bales. At least with this trailer, I could go for 4 deep, 4x2. Four on the platform. The other one being a square frame like it was, I was having a hard time squeezing them all in properly. If it was not a loader, it would probably look really nice, but I'm not going to stack them in that good. That's why I finally went with this one. Plus it was cheaper, so we got like 10 grand back, even though we lost a little bit, but we did use it quite a bit and it probably, for the amount of bales we sold, it ended up paying for the loss easily. But right now, I'm just going to let that guy go to work in that field across the way and I'll bring it back and we'll see how he ended up doing by himself well farmers so far so good uh, the worker has had no problems yet I don't want to say he's not gonna have any problems we get up to this corner but base I think he's gonna be fine with this tree I think we're about to find out as for the stumps, it took some working to do with the chainsaw to get the right angles and whatnot. I didn't have to log out and disconnect my steering wheel and start and log back in to get, you know, the, to angle the chainsaw just right. I got it to all work. But now is the moment of truth. This is the tree I was thinking could be a problem.
The other thing I want to show you is if you look at the Seedrill, right where my circle is, you can see the paint is wearing off on it from wear and tear. Same thing with the, the disc. I don't know by repairing it if it's going to fix the paint. Look at this worker, actually, they did some good work with the AIs, AI helper, I think. I think it's improved. I'm not going to say it's 100% fantastic because I haven't tested out enough. But right now, he's doing a really good job of going around that tree. Now, the only thing is, he couldn't square up exactly the way he wanted to because of the tree. So he missed a little bit there. But as for my field, I think it's going to work out just, just fine. Didn't look like I put too much of a curve into it. Like an arch one way or the other. It's straight enough. And actually, I want to get some fertilization from the grass, I think. From the grass that we plowed in. Uh, wait, where are you going now, dude? What? Is he, is he going back for that one little piece? I wish I could back up that fast in a tractor nice and straight. <laughs> oh, man. Is he actually going back for that little piece? Are you really going back for that little piece, dude? I think he is. I was going to say, don't drive off a cliff there. Don't get that far and drive off a cliff. Oh, what is this? Interesting. Uh, all right. But anyways, that's what we were waiting for. The AI helper had no problem seeding this field by himself. I got some weird fertilization up here though, 38, 40%. Let's go to cultivated, growing, fertilize. Yeah, I don't know how it's getting 30%. You can see some areas need some plowing. Needs lime. Yeah, we know that. But other than that, it's fine. But this is what I'm thinking about doing. Before, I was thinking about, if you go to here, buying plots 14. I'm going to call them plots instead of field because you're buying land. 14 and 15, which would have cost us 225. Or we wait and buy field 6 for 438. Or I could, at this point, I can almost probably buy, after we do the next harvest, buy all this. But there isn't, the land here is so hilly right here, off the fields. Up here, this is kind of flat. We might be able to do something with horses and or sheep in the future. I know the spinnery is down here, but it's something we could do. And that's kind of my plan. I just want to hold up just a little bit longer. On buying some land uh, we're gonna have now with a bigger field we're gonna have more yield more harvest to sell and I think waiting for a bigger field may pay off but the way the fields grow in a, you know in a day or so oh we didn't go to that much seed either we'll just have to wait I think and see how much soybeans we get out of this field and I guess still gonna harvest that those two fields today well, I mean today, I mean the end game day. So I'll have to see how that goes. But that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time in Ravenport. But until then, have a good one.